People sometimes ask me, I guess, they say, you know, I guess, you know, if things are natural, then they're also safe. I mean, obviously supplements could not be dangerous to my health. The truth is that there are some supplements that can be quite dangerous, and I want to point those out to you right now. Uh, let's just go down the list. The first one that comes to mind for me is ginkgo biloba. Now, ginkgo biloba has been shown to help preserve memory and reverse memory loss in people who get older. But ginkgo below is also a very powerful anticoagulant. People are showing up in some of the case studies that we have with bleeding disorders, bleeding into the brain and behind the eye and into internal organs on ginkgo biloba. So if you're going to be on ginkgo biloba, you have to have that monitored. Your bleeding time has to be checked. If you're taking it with any other anticoagulants like aspirin or Coumadin, Warfarin, Plavix, you're really asking for some trouble and some internal bleeding could actually be life-threatening to you. So that's not my favorite choice for memory preservation. Same is true for garlic. People taking garlic extract have shown up with bleeding disorders into the brain, into the gastrointestinal area, especially if you're taking an aspirin or Coumadin, Warfarin, other anticoagulants or anti-inflammatories, then you're, then you're putting yourself at risk for internal bleeding. Be very, very careful with garlic. Uh, if you're going to use a form of garlic, make sure it's chiolic garlic because it'll at least not have the same risk of causing gastrointestinal bleeding. And then there are women that, to manage menopause, they use angelica species, donque or red clover or isoflavones, or they use licorice root. And even though that can manage menopause or even PMS symptoms in women, those herbs contain coumarins. Notice how the name coumarin and the drug coumadin sound very similar. And coumadin, of course, is a powerful anticoagulant drug. Coumarins are also very strong anticoagulants. And using those herbs can actually set you up for a very serious internal bleeding disorder. There are better choices. If you want to manage menopause or PMS naturally, you shouldn't be using those herbs, red clover, angelica species, donque, or, rare, or licorice root. And then there's the case of kava. There's an, there's an herb called kava kava that's been used just for general sedation to decrease anxiety, put you in a more mellow state. Uh, but I'll tell you, kava is now strongly linked to liver failure and liver disease, people requiring liver transplants. So please do not use the herb kava. And then there's St. John's wort. St. John's wort acts like a natural antidepressant, so a lot of people use it just to, if they're feeling a little blue. But St. John's wort, if you're on any other medications, can mess up the way those medications are being detoxified in your liver. So you have to use it very, very carefully. Even if it's a woman who's on the birth control pill and she uses St. John's wort, it actually speeds up the detoxification of the pill and she loses the contraceptive effect. So a lot of drug nutrient interactions with St. John's wort, it can mess up uh, warfarin and coumadin's detoxification as well. And if you're already on an antidepressant drug, you can't be adding St. John's wort on top of that. It could be a dangerous situation for you. The same is true for 5-hydroxy tryptophan, which also raises brain levels of serotonin, which makes you feel good. It has antidepressant properties, but if you're already on an antidepressant, you can't be adding 5-hydroxy uh, tryptophan as well. And then I would tell you, if you're going to try to build up your bones and have better bone health, don't be using bone meal supplements because it may contain uh, from the bones of other animals some toxic uh, minerals like lead or nickel or tin or cadmium. Just don't be using that. You're better off to use a pure cars calcium carbonate, citrate, malate. One of those is actually uh, your best form. And then I would also caution you about using ginseng supplements. It messes up a lot of the metabolism of prescription drugs you might be taking. It messes up how anti depressants work in the brain and some people show up with a condition called ginseng syndrome. So I would say ginseng as a tea is fine. Ginseng as a supplement, I have some reservations about that. Ginseng doesn't do anything for you that you can't acquire from using other supplements without having the same risk that ginseng brings. And finally, there's a, another natural agent for memory support called vinpisotine or vinpocetine. Uh, and just like ginkgo biloba, it's linked to bleeding disorders or could cause bleeding disorders into the brain. So there are other better memory support nutrients, CDP, choline, phosphatidylserine, bacopa, monieri, huperzine A. If you go to machinohealth.com, you'll see some literature on that. But those herbs that I've covered here today, those supplements, in my view, are the ones that are a little bit dangerous and you need to proceed with it. a great deal of caution. And in most cases, you really don't uh, need to put them into your body unless you've got a specific rationale for it and you're being monitored properly. 
You know, if you enjoyed this video and you felt that you got some meaning from it, then I would really strongly recommend that you go to machinohealth.com and you can sign up for my newsletter so I can coach you on an ongoing basis as I review the scientific literature from around the world every month. I send out you know, a little weekly message like this that brings people up to date on the latest things they should do so they know how to look after themselves properly. You'll also see how you can get a free download of my, of my book called The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. It's a book I believe everyone should read. So you see how you can get a free copy of that when you go to machinohealth.com. So hopefully we'll have a chance to meet again and I'll be able to provide you with ongoing lifestyle coaching that's going to be meaningful so you can have a highly functional body and mind for the longest period of time.